Konnichiwa! Welcome back to another video. Today I would like to talk about the common issues on Corvettes because I see a lot of people getting interested in Corvettes, like especially drift community. I would like to talk about a little bit of common issues that I have actually faced and I see a lot on the forums. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So my Corvette is 2008 base model uh, LS3 with manual transmission. Well, this car is almost perfect, but first thing we're going to talk about actually affect the gauges. Some C6's fuel gauge doesn't actually work, and I'm going to tell you why. So the fuel sending unit stopped working because of the buildup on the metal. This is a very common problem with the C6. Either your fuel gauge doesn't work or kind of jumpy. Mine works sometimes, but not really working. The good news is it doesn't affect performance at all. It's a really difficult fix. It might cost you over a thousand dollars at the dealership. It's a very difficult fix, but you can do it in your garage. You need two parts. It's about like 80 bucks each and or all these kids ship it to your uh, house in most cases. So if you're looking to buy C6, ask your current owner if it's been fixed. If it hasn't, prepare to be, uh, if it hasn't, be prepared to fix that problem, okay? If you don't want this to happen to your Corvette, you can use Tecron cleaner or Royal Purple fuel cleaner once a month. Up next, is your lower radiator support. This is a very common problem. This is a problem because the C6 is pretty low and the core, like radiator support is made out of aluminum. So it's fragile. So if you scrape or go over speed bumps and hit, hit it like pretty hard, it can easily break. But don't be scared though, your radiator, your radiator is not going to just fall out. It's going to make your front bumper alignment a little bit uh, misaligned. But it's an easy fix and you can get aftermarket radiator support, radiator support for about $100. So before you're buying your C6, go underneath your car and make sure your, radi your radiator support is not clean cracked and they um what is it and they still have four bolts in to avoid this becoming your problem just be careful driving on the speed bumps or any bumps pretty much and also avoid driving through southern california the next is the headlight it's uh it goes bad after a couple years and the sun really messes it up so the refresh kit that you can buy at the store doesn't really work on these so you pretty much have to replace them other than looking bad um, this is actually pretty dangerous this haziness does not let the light go at night go at night but it doesn't let the light um, go at night so you can't really see the rows well but when you replace them don't forget to buy the gaskets and seals because these have to go on these have to go in the oven but other than that it's only about 90 bucks to replace them uh, when you buy them though make sure to um, put clear coat or have the paint shop to um, paint clear coat over to protect the headlight better. Uh, makes sense. I guess clear vinyl works too. To avoid this becoming your problem, just wash and wax like you would do with your paint. Also, avoid any car washes that are not touch free. So another common problem is a suspension failure. So the base model C6 Corvette has the front and rear leaf springs. So check the ride height and wheel gap to see it's even. 
if the front is low like mine and you're on stock suspension you probably have problems in most cases your car will still drive fine but you will hear some noises you might hear some noises but driving could be dangerous so please don't so any suspension work on corvette could be very expensive so i would go coilovers i recommend vivid racing they have field coilovers and bc racing i recommend those two brands and you can have them for about fifteen hundred dollars if oem is your thing o'reilly's carry just about anything to rebuild this but it's going to be as expensive so just go coilovers come on man to avoid this becoming your problem just go coilovers i recommend coilovers wheel bearings i replaced them on mine about like twice already but i drive really hard Luckily, this is an easy fix and you can adjust your parking brake while you're fixing your um, wheel bearing. Before buying your C6, just get that car on air and just shake it well and see if there is any wobbling. If it wobbles even a little bit, just try to negotiate the price or um, ask them if they can replace them for you. At O'Reilly's, hub assemblies cost about $150 to, to, uh, $150 to 270 bucks, and you can replace them in about like an hour, so it's not that hard. To avoid this becoming your problem, just verify your alignment every year. Overall, Corvettes are amazing, and it's good for pretty much everything. While all cars have problems, these are our most common problems that C6 have. So 2004 to 2007 Corvettes have bad transmission and explo exploding diffs. And Z06's eat valves. But other than that, these are great cars. And if you want to know how to fix all these problems, just subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have to end up fixing all these. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. And this, uh, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Matane. All right, just one more thing. Uh, make sure to take the top off sometimes and uh, check your seals, like right here, it's cracking. It's very expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive to replace them. So just check them. All right, see you, bye. Oh, by the way, if you get a Corvette, just um, tag me on Instagram so we can race. Bye!